feel such a sense of responsibility, you know? Not just as class chair, but as a member of the team. I don't know if you know this, but I was supposed to be on the plane that day. We get this weird call from a woman said to come out to this address. Mm -hmm. She said there'd been a murder and she gave us your name. Said you could identify the victim as the man who kidnapped your daughter. This the man? Yeah, that's him. Few ground rules. No chewing gum. I just had the seats reupholstered. No crying. You need to cry. Do it outside the van. Most importantly, nobody touches the tech but me. It's military grade and finely tuned to respond to my voice in my voice alone. Ordering home alone. No. I think that's Reese Witherspoon. What? At the table by the stairs. Is that Reese Witherspoon? No. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, check this out. What do we got here? Hey. Uh -huh. Oh. Say, uh, I'm from Jovian. This guy was stealing from us. <laughs> Toys, candies, puppy dogs. <laughs> How about I tear your head off? Guys, take me away, she's so mean. Juvie, man, they do not mess around. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a bill. Right. Okay, see you after lunch. It's a dirty little secret, but it's our secret, and every family's got to marry. Got what? Secrets. Like Uncle Jack here, stealing all your granddad's money. Don't start with that. Bottom line, he's oh, a klepto, up. and everybody knows it. <laughs> Betty gave away her first child. Hey. Stacy's father's a child molester, and Aunt Lime didn't even have to change her last name when she got married. All right, you just fill out your name tag, and you're all set. OK, but I, I mean, do I just go up and talk to anyone, or do I wait for them to talk to me, or? Are you asking me how to flirt with men? You say, yo, Andrea, it's Irish tradition after a battle for the warrior to dance with his favorite lass. So would you come by the bar after and dance with me? I can't say that. Why not? It's corny. It's cute. Back the fuck off, Pablo. The stumpter's occupado. Is, is that your boyfriend? Fuck off, Screech. Hey, you live around here? I live with Aaron. That's cool. Don't act like you know him. Aaron's a motherfucking tattoo artist genius. He's designing my sleeve. That's cool. What are you getting? It's just me fisting your mom up to my elbow. This job gets pretty lonely. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm just one bad day away from doing something really crazy, like blowing up a zoo or becoming a Christian. You got any uppers? No. That's cool. I got a lot. I just don't like to use my own, unless somebody else has some, you know? Nobody ever got rich spending their own money. Would it be cool if I took a picture of you where it looked like you were sucking me off? Yeah, that's cool. I'm investigating the death of Jennifer Pierce. I'm glad someone's finally looking into what happened to Jennifer. You mind telling me about her? She was good. A little formal training, but she had talent. Does she have any friends here? Anyone she might have had a personal connection with? Marcy Williams. Marcy Williams? Who's that? I'll show you. Shut the fuck up, Doug. You're a grown man. <clears throat> Worddefinition.net defines a reunion as a union that is happening again. A convention of friends, relatives, or associates after a period of separation. And indeed, a graduating class will forever be united by their shared high school experience. But as the Wiskeyak High, class of 96, we are united by something even greater. Together we went through a tragedy, and tonight, together, I'm hopeful we can finally truly heal.